Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm Liam Murphy and today I'll be reviewing the Hungarian Vizsla. Okay guys, so the Hungarian Vizsla. That may not be the correct pronunciation, that's the way I pronounce it, so I'm going with Vizsla. Okay, so the Hungarian Vizsla comes from Hungary. They were originally bred as a hunting dog. They're a gun dog, also classified as a pointer, pointing breed. They see something, they stop, they freeze, they point, you know. You know the whole, I'm not gonna do it for you. And these guys are the smallest of all the pointers, which makes them very, very popular with families and hunters alike. People like their smaller size. Nowadays, these guys are used quite a bit still for hunting and licking mouths. Hold on a second. I saw you doing something earlier with that tongue. But out of all pointers, the Vizsla is definitely the most popular amongst people who get them solely as a family companion. As you can see, like I said, they're a medium-sized dog, 40 pounds, 60 pounds, and about that range. Not very big, makes them very, very popular amongst people. They like that smaller size, they want a pointer, they like the looks of them. Pointers generally are pretty big dogs. These guys are very small, which makes them very, very popular. As you can see, a very beautiful golden reddish coat on these guys. Pretty much as this is the color you're gonna see. They come in different shades, some a little bit lighter, some a little bit darker. They have your typical pointer ears, very long, squishy face, long muzzle, nice, lean, tight body on them. Fitness goals, am I right, guys? Another important detail about their coat, you guys, is that they do not have an undercoat. So they have a very thin coat on them, so they're not suitable to be outside in the cold weather for a long period of time. Now, they do need exercise. You're obviously gonna have to take your dog outside. If you are gonna be out for any prolonged period of time in colder weather, you wanna throw a jacket on them. I'm not saying you have to knit it yourself. Now, a lot of people freak out about dogs wearing jackets. I don't get it. They're like, they have a coat. It's like, dude, now they don't, stupid. They got a coat, they were born with fur. They don't have an undercoat, stupid. They still get cold. If you're gonna get one of these dogs that are gonna be outside in the winter, definitely gonna have to wear a jacket. Don't let anybody make fun of your dog. Violence is never the answer. Unless somebody makes fun of your dog's coat, they spend about eight hours knitting, watching endless hours of YouTube tutorials on how to knit properly. All right, so let's get into the review. Let's talk about health, and one of my favorite things about these guys, not only about how beautiful they are and their size, one of my favorite things is their health. They're a very healthy breed. Very, very healthy breed. Not a lot of health issues with these guys. There is, of course, there can be hip dysplasia, although very rare. There are some cancers you have to be aware of. But mostly what I see with these guys is more of skin and food allergies. That's where it can be a little bit costly for owners. So you just want to make sure you want to keep an eye on the dog. Is it itchy? Is it having issues? Sometimes it's just seasonal, which is better than food allergies. Uh, but unfortunately, sometimes you might find out that, oh, the dog has a food allergy, in which case the dog is going to have to go on to a very strict, regimented, pretty expensive diet. Other than that, not a whole lot of health issues with these guys. I'm going to give them a five for health. Okay, so let's move on to temperament. Now, the Vizsla, like I said before, is the most popular of the pointing dogs that is used primarily as a family companion, meaning people don't get them because they want to hunt them. They want them because they just want them in the house not as a working dog, but just as a family companion. And there's a good reason for that because they make excellent, excellent family companions or just companions in general if you don't have a family. Very, very sweet. They love their people. They just really love being around their owners. They love to spend time with you. They like to sit with you. They like to lay with you. At times, you can think they're a lap dog and want to sit right on your lap. They can be a very sensitive dog. If you're not spending enough time with them, they will get sad. They'll mope around. They will definitely pout. They'll howl. They'll cry. They'll bark. That's usually just to show their displeasure if you're not giving them enough attention. They're not really a great god dog. They're not aggressive or anything like that. They just want to spend a lot of time with you. If somebody's trying to break in the house and they're taking too long, the dog will bark, not because they want them to run away because they're like hurry up get in here and pat me take anything you want excellent with children very very good with little kids for being such an active dog these guys are very gentle around children and very good with other dogs too I've never had a problem working with Vizslas they really just want to play with just about any dog so for temperament for these guys I'm gonna give them another five okay so let's move on to activity now like I said earlier they were originally bred as a hunting dog they still are a hunting dog today they're still bred to hunt one of the best activities you can do with these guys is hunting if you're into hunting Great. Make a great hunting dog, and that would be excellent. That would be a very good fit. If you're not into hunting, if you don't like hunting, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not saying you have to. I am saying is, like I've said in previous videos, you want to simulate that work somewhat. Take them somewhere where they can work fields, just so they can utilize their senses and their abilities to do what comes naturally to them. Now, they are a very highly active dog. They need a lot of exercise, so you have to be an active person. Your activities cannot include video games all day, although I wish they would. Red Dead Redemption 2, am I right, guys? If you work long hours, you don't have enough time to carve out for the dog, not a good fit. You want to make sure you like outdoor activities, such as hiking, biking, running. Great dog to have as a running partner. You know, they love going to dog parks. You just have to be active. You have to be busy. You can't be sitting around all day. You can't be somebody who works a ton and then only has time on the weekends for the dog. It's just not that type of dog to have. I don't care how much you love the dog. If you don't give it enough exercise, 
you're not doing any good for the dog. You're only doing good for you. So for activity for these guys, I'm gonna give them another five. Okay, so the next up is trainability. Guys, we could get five, all fives. That would be, it's unprecedented in breed review. We could make history. I'm so excited. I, I, I cannot wait to find out what she gets for trainability. Okay, trainability for these guys. Very, very intelligent dog, very easy to train. Now, like I said about their activity, and like I said about the German Shorted point, Pointer, when it comes to training with these guys, the easiest thing to do is to train them to do what they were bred for. It just makes it a lot easier on the dog, and it makes it a lot easier on you. But also for regular behavior training, these guys pick things up really, really well. Sit, stay, come. Great dog to have off leash. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna give them a five for training. Wow, all fives, you gotta be kidding. Oh my God, congratulations, you did it. Okay guys, so that's it. That's the Hungarian Vizsla. Now, real quick, I'd like you guys to really be honest with me. Please be honest with me. I want you to put this down in the comment. I want you to answer this question for me. And I want you to be honest. At what point in this video did you notice that I switched dogs, huh? This is not Scout. The original dog we had in the episode, her mom came, she had to pick her up. But luckily, I got a ton of Vizslas back at the shop, went back in there, grabbed another one. Next up was Anna, ready to go. So actually, Anna's a really good one to show. You know, if you go back and you look at the difference, Anna's got a little bit lighter of a coat. She's more like that lighter, lighter style. See, right here, maybe lighter, okay, a little bit lighter. Okay guys, so the Hungarian Vizsla, very affectionate, as you can see. I love them a lot, they're just a sweet dog. Pros for these guys. Obviously a very beautiful dog, very affectionate, great with kids, great with other dogs, excellent family companion. They're your typical best friend dog. Now another pro to these guys is their size. Some people really love the pointers, but they're just too big for them. Vizsla makes a great option for people who don't want the large size dog, they want more of the medium size. They don't require a ton of grooming, so that's nice. Cons would be, for some people, would be their activity level. And I would say for some people who live maybe in colder climates, they're just not hardy enough for that type of weather environment. Other than that, I really can't think of a whole lot of stuff that uh, people, oh, and they just don't like dogs, and they probably wouldn't want to be used All right, guys, thank you guys so much again for watching. You guys have been awesome. Thank you to all the people who have subscribed, the new subscriber, the old subscribers. Really appreciate it. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support. You're awesome. You've been great. Keep the comments coming. Keep liking the videos if you do like them. If you don't like them, keep disliking them. Maybe keep an open mind. Maybe settle down a little bit. Thanks so much again. I appreciate it. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Uh, uh, yeah,